I do not pretend to understand anything about the theory of relativity. But from my college days, two Alberts, Albert Einstein and his very good friend Albert Schweitzer, impressed on me the importance of humanitarian thought and action. I have been a surgeon for 60 years and more, and I've had the best of two worlds as a teacher and a consultant in tertiary care hospitals, and as someone who's worked in small towns and rural areas, trying to do what I thought I should. I never thought I had a vision. I just thought I was doing what was normal for somebody to do if he had the need to do it. All of us sitting here, I'm sure if asked about a surgical operation room, would say that it is a sterile area with technology, infrastructure, well-trained surgeons, and we would naturally feel that is so all over every place. Nothing could be further from the truth. Five billion people, 70% of the world population, have no access at all to safe, affordable surgical care. Lack of surgical care inflicts suffering, disfigurement, and death, but it does worse. It financially cripples the entire family in those countries totally. It impacts heavily on the national economy, draining 2% of the annual GDP in those countries. Laparoscopy came into India in 1972 as a diagnostic aid for early diagnosis, as an economic necessity. Diagnostic laparoscopy in the 70s was frowned upon by all surgeons as being a sissyish, cowardly thing to do to peep through a hole when you could open the abdomen and have a good look. <laughs> and I was uh, ridiculed for whatever I was trying to do. But when we went to small town rural surgeons who had the same needs as I had in my teaching hospital, they were ready to accept diagnostic laparoscopy. When laparoscopic surgery came on the scene many years later, our team was already ready to move into the new field, and we could perform the first laparoscopic cholecystectomy in the developing world. Immediately, we were drowned in criticism and abuse by surgeons from both the developed and the developing world who insisted that sophisticated, advanced, high-tech surgery had no place in a poor country. This is something I just could not accept. In surgery, very often, the truth starts as blasphemy. Laparoscopic surgery has the immense patient-friendly benefit of early return to work and productivity, which is of immense value to the daily wages, manual laborers of the developing world. Karl Storz Tuttlingen, Germany, are the oldest and largest manufacturers of laparoscopic equipment. In 2011, the chairperson, Dr. Mrs. Sybil Storz, accepted my request to set up a humongous, humongous, purely altruistic educational fund to set up a center of intensive hands-on training on simulators, models created and crafted ingeniously at the center. Currently, we have trained almost 6,000 surgeons and 700 surgical nurses or our nurses in the center in less than five years. It would be wonderful if in every walk and endeavor of human activity, we could narrow the gap between the haves and the have-nots. We might go to the moon and we might go to the stars, but we must not forget that we live on Earth. Success is not a destination. Success is merely the journey. A journey replete with its joys and frustrations, but just an ongoing journey. Thank you. Thank you.